I'm loving the vibes, where to go? And you cooking spree, come along and cook with me. I'm in the bush here looking some susumba. This is how the susumba looks. So I'm gonna cook some rundown with susumba and saltfish and coconut and coconut juice. And you cook with style and everybody is smiling, you better top up your data. The on the river side and the food is spice as your fire blaze up And she's cooking spree or the food is a nice People everywhere me go me find Susumba So me have more than what me want To put into me rundown Everywhere in the bush Oh my goodness, oh, come over here okay people welcome back to my channel this is your lady angie today i'm going to do something differently for you every day you're going to get something different today i'm going to make um rondong with susumba otherwise called gully bean and salt fish all right so that's what i'm going to do so this is how the susumba looks so i'm going to pick all the small ones from off the the, the branch you know from off the stem so this is how it looks as soon as i finish pick it off i'll show you but people whenever you are using this to cook make sure you get the small ones the young ones because if you get them too big they are tough and they are bitter all right so i'm gonna do some susumba rundown with saltfish today okay all right so before i start to pick off the susumba from off the little um stem here i have the saltfish it is soaking right now in some water I have some seasoning here, scallion, onion, tomato, thyme and garlic and some black pepper. All right. So I'm going to leave the, the salt fish to soak some more until I finish. Pick the susumba and I have two coconuts. I have two coconuts and I'm going to break them and grate them. So I'll get back to you as soon as I finish. Pick the susumba. All right. This is how you do it, people. You pick them from off the stem like this. You pick everything off like this. So this is the eatable part. So I'm going to boil it down into some coconut juice. And salt fish. Roast breadfruit. Okay, then we're going to throw away this part. Alright, so as soon as I finish pick off everything. I'll just show you in the dish. People remember, you know, you can't use the the big, the old one. These two hold. I'm gonna throw away those. You have to use the small ones. Small one, they are very soft and nice. This is how it looks now, people. Yeah. So people, I'm oxing out the coconut now. Then I'm gonna wash them, and then I'm gonna grate it. Quick me, she a love and I cook with ease. Rice I'll be cook with ease. Coconut juice as I look it squeeze. Fip sauce make a cook it sweet, and she a cook in the bush it seems. Yeah, I'm loving the vibes. What you cooking tonight? I'll be watching you later. And you cook with style and everybody is smiling okay, at the top of the data. Great in the coconut now, then I'm gonna juice it, okay? Alright people, so I've finished great at the coconut now, so I'm gonna transfer the trash from this container to this <laughs> container. So I can juice it in this deeper one this one is a little bit too shallow so I'm gonna pour some water in it now so this is where I'm gonna get my juice 
So as, finish, as soon as I finish juice it out, now I'm going to strain it. See the coconut juice rich people? So two coconuts will make me run down today. The sun is so hot today, it's like boiling. So I'm gonna strain it out in this pot. This is the pot that I'm going to boil the rundown in. So I'm just doing all the straining out in this. more water not a lot because I want my coconut juice to be rich and strong so I'm not gonna use a lot of water okay so the coconut juice finished juice now people so I'm gonna cover it up right here put it aside and then I'm gonna start catching up my fire Alright, so I'm going to take off some dry banana leaf and this is what I'm going to use to catch my fire. So I have two fires to catch people. fire to catch so I'm just gonna put a little oil this is a little engine oil okay this one time to catch now okay people say it's gonna stay there and catch up for my rundown and my roast breadfruit look at that fire people catching up so nicely look at it getting ready to put my pot on yes people when you're blowing at it it catch up faster quick quick yep Alright, I'm going to put the breadfruit in the fire now, people. Put the breadfruit in the fire. And I'm going to put some ox around it. So, very quick this breadfruit is going to roast, people. This when you put the ox around it like this, and the fire blaze up on it, it roasts quicker than than normal quicker than when you you don't put it now i'm gonna put my coconut milk here to boil i'm not gonna cover it because if i cover it it might float over so i'm gonna leave it there when it start boil i keep stirring so people i'm gonna squeeze a little lime juice in it the lime juice helps it to cut the oil fast it makes the oil faster so people i don't like when my rundown is too white i'm gonna put a little bit of curry in it just to give it a little color so yes so it can boil with the curry all right i'm gonna show you in the pot now people look at that in the pot look in the pot see that so i'm gonna keep have to keep stirring and the breadfruit is roasting. I'm going to turn them now. So I'm going to turn the breadfruit people. Okay.
quick, quick like that. Just like that, people. So let it stay there and roast. Good now. Let me put back a piece of the coconut shell back over it. All right. Let me take it up back again. Come, stay one place. Okay, this will give me a fight. Oh, all right. Right, there you go let it stay there now people and continue to roast so people now the run don't go down to how i want it i'm gonna put my gully bean in now or maybe you call it susumber same thing so i'm gonna put it in now and let them boil in it so when it boil and cook and go down a little more now i put in my salt fish and season it up so I'm going to start to scrape my fish, just prepare it and put it aside. So when the coconut milk boil go down to how I want it, then I have all my stuff ready to just pour in. Okay people, so I'm cutting up my seasoning now. Put everything aside, ready to put in the rundown. People, when you're cooking rundown, you don't have to put all these all-purpose seasoning and all those things in your in your rundown because when you put all those you only kill the flavor the taste of the flavor the coconut you know i must say coconut well flavored already you don't need to put all of them woolly powder seasoning you just go with your natural seasoning you know because it already have its own flavor so you don't need no more powder seasoning all you can do just put a little black pepper and you're good to go along with your natural seasoning all right for the time i'm not going to cut the time i'm going to leave it just like this and just put it in all right so this is scallion um onion garlic and half of tomato i don't want the whole tomato in it half of tomato and thyme and some black pepper and that's it you're good to go the coconut and all these natural herbs give you the right flavor that you need all right so people know that's the rundown go go down to how i want it have a look the susumba is cooked now i'm gonna add my salt fish or maybe you call it codfish same thing so put it in now and i'm gonna put my seasoning same time so everything will cook down nicely now cook down to custard so you have that nice gravy to eat with your breadfruit right so now I can cover it after this. All the seasoning in people. Every day I'm outside cooking, it's always raining. I think that's blessing, right? That's blessing, I'm sure. Alright, take a look now. So it's gonna boil up quickly you beautiful that look and colorful people i'm gonna put a scotch bonnet pepper in it as well and that's it and let it stay there i'm gonna show it to you soon people i'm peeling the breadfruit now people this is a food they may tell you this is a food they are nice me not taste it yet people but trust me by just the way of looking at it trust me this food sell off sell off people roast breadfruit and run down with gully bean and salt fish in the rundown. People, this is a food they sell off. All we want now is a glass of lemonade with wool heap of lime. And it's good to go. Alright. That's how it's set in the country, people. So, people, now I finished peeling the breadfruit. I'm taking out the heart. All right, this is the heart of the breadfruit. We cannot eat that part. We have to take out this part. So let's cut it out like this. All right. Okay, people, have a look in the pot. I'm gonna take it off now. And now it's time to heat. Yeah, look at that, people. Now it's time to heat. And people, the rain is coming again. And you know when you're in the fire heat and the rain, that's not good. So let's take it off the fire now. Then we're gonna do some sharing out. 
Okay, people, I'm gonna do some quick sharing now because as you can see, it's raining. Some quick sharing. Look at that, people. People look at this okay people saltfish rundown with susumba it's very nice people I hope you do enjoy watching my video today once more this is the end of another journey all right so thank you for all your support so far continue to put so continue to support Angie's cooking spree all right so I'll see you another time God bless you take care Bye, people. All the food here tastes Tastes good. Come along and cook yeah, with bye bye. Me. She allowed for no cook with ease. Rice, I'll be cook with peace. Coconut juice as a look it squeeze. Fifth sauce, take a two, six sweet. And she'll cook in the bush, it seems.